Hello guys, Steve here, Shen RC, and I'm here with the Associated CR12, and I just want to tell you about some upgrades that will make it work much better out of the box if you do this, plus about tires and wheels and what I did with mine. Anyhow, out of the box, this thing works pretty good. It's a little twitchy, and I found when you take the stock radio out, when you get it here, on a second guys this is the stock radio and with this stock radio it's jumpy and the throttle pull when you first pull it like three quarters away the first little bit has no throw like with throttle response it just jumps to a fast speed so I learned take this out and put any radio in there like I put this spectrum in mine and what that does is when you give it throttle you get more throw with the trigger and a smoother longer response of slow speed instead of slowed and boom real fast it drives much better just by taking the radio out and swapping it to a different one and that's one thing you can do and then I'll show you here Another thing I did with mine is the ESC. I just took that thing right out and I put a stock like, uh, what the hell was it, from a Tamiya kit. I had a Hobby Wing 1060 ESC. So I used that and it has crawler mode. When you switch to a 1060 ESC, so much smoother the response even gets better than with just switching the radio so both together makes it really nice and smooth to go slow compared to out of the box and I'll show you that right now let me turn on my radio this thing drives really nice Look at how slow you could go now. And the good thing about it is, let me get this handy dandy box here. Whoa. The good thing about it is, the th throttle trigger pull right there. You can see how much I'm pulling it. It goes, it goes really slow and it keeps going nice slow speeds. All the way to about three quarter throttle whereas the stock one, the first one eighth of an inch, boom you're going fast. So that works way better with the 1060 Hobby Wing ESC in there and a new radio you don't have to get an ESC it works a lot better with the radio but if you want to further improve it I suggest getting a Hobby Wing ESC to 1060 in there and what else I did with mine I put an extra little bumper thing with two lights this has bright lights already you really don't need it but I had that laying around from a WL Toys car so it fit perfect now let's go on to the wheels and the tires. Let me just put a clip in here so I don't keep opening this dang thing up. Alright, now the wheels and tires you see here, I have these. These are old, really old from that lossy mini rock crawler. It's really old. These are lossy rock crawler. Uh, rock claw tires rather and the stock wheels and the stock tires really really work really good they grip really good these are just a little hair taller than the stock ones you could see so I wanted something a little taller and uh, 
Also the stock tires are 3.52 inches tall. These ones here are 3.7 inches the outer diameter so they're a little bigger. There's other tires that you could probably put on 1.9 wheels I was looking at that would probably be nice. There's a tire that kind of almost looks like this one here. It's uh, from Hot Bodies. It's called Rovers. They're 1.9 but they're 3.9 inches tall. So if you want a little taller tire, they're nice. Hot Bodies, Rovers. And then I was looking the Mud Slingers from RC Four Wheel Drive. They'd probably look neat on here also. I believe they're 3.66 inches. So that ain't that bad. It's like probably almost the size of these. But the Rovers, the Hot Body Rovers are nice and they're 3.9. They may be cool to get to get an extra ground clearance. But I think the mud slingers would look really cool on here. Uh, that's all my mods I've done to it. I went probably, I would say about 10 miles so far with this truck. And it works awesome. I uh, got a night video I got to put on also that I went. But it's a nice little rig. It really surprised me how capable it is up in the mountain. It really ran great. It didn't get hung up that much. And I was using the stock tires. I, that's all I ran it with. I only tested this in the backyard. But I got to test it out again with these tires. It should work even better. But that's it, guys. If you have a CR12 from Associated, I suggest, like I said, changing the radio, you'll see a big improvement. You'll be like, holy crow. And then if you go further and do the ESC, the Hobby Wing 1060, you'll really go, oh my god, it drives so nice. Uh, great little truck, guys. I hope you enjoyed my uh, tips and stuff and what I did to mine. And you'll see more of this, like I said. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys and all the support. If you're new watching, please hit that bell and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.